Hey guys, Lone Woodsman here with you again. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up the Adirondack tarp shelter. Stay tuned, everybody. So, first thing you want to do, ridge line. Second, lay your tarp out in the diamond shape. We're going to take our tarp up and over our ridge line until we are three tie outs well two tie outs from the corner that's where we're going to attach it to our ridge line Okay, so here we have our corner. So we go one, two, and that's where we'll attach it. So we take our prusik knot, put it through our tie out, put in a toggle, and there we go. Now let's do the same to the other side. Okay, so once you got it up on your ridge line, you should have something that looks just like this. You got a triangle shape hanging out in the front and just the rest of your tarp laying down off to the back. So now we're going to go around to the back and I'll show you how to stake that out. Okay, so here we are at the back. Here is our corner. Now, same thing as we did on the ridge line. We want to go up two tie outs from our corner and stake that out keeping it nice and tight. So we go one, two, pulling that away nice and tight, and staking it down. Another little tip, instead of holding your stake like this, turn your hand upside down. That way if you miss, you're hitting the meat of your hand and not hitting your bones. Now, we're going to do the exact same thing on the other corner. Other side, I should say. Two tie outs back from the corner, stake it down. So here we have our corner. We go one, two, and that's the one we stake down. Remembering to keep it nice and tight. This one's going to end up having to be a little bit loose. I have a log right, right here where I have to put my stake. So I'll just have to move it a little bit, I guess. Now this part right here, this little triangle, will take and just throw underneath for now. Like I said, you can see how loose this back is because I had a log right there. Maybe I'll just try and readjust this one to try and tighten that back out a little bit. All right, so now let's move to the front, stake out our last two corners, and we're all done.
Okay, so now you have two options from here. You can take this triangle left over Pull it out, stake it like this. Or what I usually do with it, flip it over the back, then bring it under your ridge line, back over the top, pull it down, attach it in the back. So let's go ahead and do that, and this shelter's all done. Now we'll just pull this away to a tree and we're all set. Okay, so now that we got our back pulled out, our Adirondack shelter is complete. Let's go around to the front, check it out, see what kind of room we have under there. Okay, so our Adirondack shelter is all done. My ridge line is about shoulder height on me. Now, it's gonna vary with the, the size of your tarps. This is a 12 by 12 tarp, so I can make it bigger, I can make it taller, which really helps me out because I have back issues. So getting underneath some of these you know, you have to bend way over to crawl into them. This, this suits me a lot better. So, here is that corner that we tucked under. That's a perfect ground cloth for your gear. Any other equipment you might want to have to keep up off the ground. Uh, it could be a partial ground cloth for yourself. But as you can see, I got plenty of room under here. I am right now tucked back under under the ridge line keeping me out of the weather I have plenty of room to lay down to sleep to work under here this right here is my favorite uh, setup I can have a nice fire out in the front I use this one a lot in the winter I have my long fire out in front of me. I lay right under here and I've been I've never had a an issue with it. So that's how you set it up. I thank y'all for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. I will see y'all in the next one. Take care everybody.